Well, I'm Mike the Milk Chug, and I could use a big hug, so please don't throw me away. That would be frightening, so take me to recycling so I can be useful someday. Hi, I'm Mike the Milk Jug, and I'd like you to follow me on a great adventure. When I was just a young oil drop, I always dreamed of growing up and becoming a park bench. It all started millions of years ago, when the earth was covered by oceans. These oceans were filled with plants and animals that over the ages lived and died and eventually became oil. About 200 years ago, it was discovered that oil was very useful to make plastics. So I and millions of my friends were drilled from the earth and sent to a plastic factory. I felt lucky to be sent to a factory to be made into a jug and filled with milk, so I became Mike the Milk Jug. I was then sent to a grocery store where a very nice family took me home. And after joining them for several meals, I was all emptied out and put into a truck to be hauled away to the recycling center. On the way, however, I fell out of the truck, and I was so worried that I was just litter and no one would love me anymore. But a very nice person found me, saved me, and got me to the recycling center. There I was transformed from milk jug to a plastic board, and then my dreams had come true and I became a park bench. I am so excited and happy to provide a seat for all to enjoy in a beautiful park. Well, I'm Mike the Milk Jug, and I could use a big hug, so please don't throw me away. That would be frightening, so take me to recycling, so I can be useful someday. I'm Chester the Cardboard Kid. I've got four sides and a lid. I've held toys and berries. My uses are varied, so please don't let me be buried. Hi, I'm Chester the Cardboard Kid. Ow! And I'd like to tell you the story of my life. It all started when my great-great-granddaddy was one of the very first cardboard boxes. Mm. No, not the cow. No, not the horse. My granddaddy. He was made from the wood of trees from the mighty pine forests. These trees were cut down and sent to a mill, where they were ground into pulp and made into cardboard sheets. Cardboard then got sent to another factory and made into boxes. My granddaddy was proud to have become a box that held toys to be sent to kids for Christmas. Luckily, as time went by, some really smart people discovered that you could recycle us cardboard boxes over and over again and reduce the amount of trees and forests to be harvested for cardboard and could be used for other things. In fact, we can be recycled into new boxes five to seven times. So my family is proud to say that we have always been a cardboard box family and have never just been thrown away. I'm on a truck right now carrying a shipment of kitten toys to a very nice family. After I get done with the shipment, I am dreaming of getting reused as a toy box when I get too worn out, I'm sure I'll get sent to a recycling center to be made into new box and begin new adventures. So remember, reduce, reuse, and recycle. I'm Chester the Cardboard Kid. I've got four sides and a lid. I've held toys and berries. My uses are varied. So please don't let me be buried.
Tammy, Tammy, tin can. Tammy, Tammy, tin can. Tammy, the tin can has a big plan. Tammy, Tammy, tin can. Tammy, Tammy, tin can. Tammy can be a tin can again. Hi, I'm Tammy, the tin can. Can I tell you a secret? Oh my gosh, I'm really not made of tin. In fact, tin is a very rare metal and hasn't really been used to make cans in like a hundred years. So like all my friends and I are made out of other metals like steel, iron, and aluminum. These metals are found deep underground and like, you know, have to be like dug up from the earth. This is called mining. After the metals are mined, they're sent to factories and melted into, you know, like shapes of cans for holding like green beans and like other neat stuff. So like right now, I'm being sent to a packaging plant to be filled with peas. I know not everybody like, you know, likes peas, so I'm hoping somebody's mom like buys me at the grocery store and feeds my peas to some kids who really like peas. Mm. So like after I'm all emptied out, I think it would be like really fun to be maybe like tied to a string with some of my other can friends and maybe spend some time as like a wind chime or something really cool like that. Anyway, I don't know if you know this, but like us tin cans can be recycled back into cans or all kinds of neat stuff forever. That's right. Forever. Like it never ends, right? So as the song says, Tammy can be a tin can again. Tammy, Tammy, tin can. Tammy, Tammy, tin can. Tammy, the tin can has a big plan. Tammy, Tammy, tin can. Tammy, Tammy, tin can. Tammy can be a tin can again. And I'm singing the song to say, I'll make you smile throughout the day, but please don't throw me away, so you can read me another day. Extra, extra, read all about it. I've got some good news today. Hey guys, Nellie the newspaper here, reading you all the good news about recycling. I'm talking about recycling newspaper, like me and all the good things I could get made into. But first, let's take a trip back in time to the 1800s. A newspaper can't be a newspaper until it has a clean paper to be printed on. That clean paper is called newsprint. The first newsprint paper was made from the pulp wood of pine trees. These trees were harvested from the forests and sent to a paper mill to be pulverized and ground into wood fibers called pulp, just like my cousin Chester the Cardboard Kid. Except these trees were made into newsprint. Newsprint was made this way for a very long time and took a lot of trees to make many millions of newspapers. Eventually, though, it was discovered that these newspapers could be 100% recycled and could be made into not only new newspapers, but many other paper products. This is the fun part. Us newspapers have a lot to look forward to. We could become printer and copier paper and be very important documents or diplomas. We could become a fun magazine or even a greeting card. Hey, I like that. Maybe I could become my own birthday card. Let's see. Oh yeah, here we go. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Help me save a tree and recycle me. Good, right? Happy birthday! And I singing the song to say I'll make you smile throughout the day 
but please don't throw me away so you can read me another day. Got the recycling blues. Let's let the people choose. Do we get to stay or just get thrown away? So I'm asking you, don't be a fool. Just be cool and in these recycling blues. Hi, all you recycling people. I'm Rodney the Roloff Box. And I think I have the greatest job in the whole world. You see, I'm here to receive and gather all of my recyclable friends and take them to the recycling center. I've been feeling pretty good lately because everyone is bringing me all their great recyclable friends to my doors. Which is wonderful because sometimes I get filled up with trash and that gives me a bellyache, which really does give me the recycling blues. I'd like to tell you about a regular day in the life of a roll-off box. You see... I'm made of many compartments that folks can sort their recyclables into. I have doors for cardboard, tin cans, plastic, and newspaper. After I'm all filled up, a truck comes along and gives me a ride to the recycling center. There I am carefully unloaded and sorted into my special areas in the center. Most of my recyclable friends are then bailed into huge squares along with others like them by a giant baling machine. They are then taken by trucks to other factories who make them into new products and begin new adventures. I then get taken back to the towns to get refilled the next day with more recyclables. Most of the time I get taken to a town close to a park where I can visit with my friend Mike the Milk Jug Bench. But right now I'm wondering what some of my recyclable friends are doing. Oh, hey guys, look, the family brought us to rest with my Uncle Mike, the Milk Jug Park Bench. Hello there, Mike. Hi, Mike. Gee, I sure hope I get made into something cool like you. I hope you do too. I love my life as a park bench. I get to meet so many nice people and lots of times they set my young recyclable friends down on my bench before Rodney the Roloff Box takes them to the recycling center. Well, here comes the family to take you to Rodney. Bye! Oh, hey, Rodney. Woohoo! Here we come! Here I go. I hope I become a park bench just like my Uncle Mike. OMG, I want to be a tin can again. I want to become my very own birthday card. Just make me a box. Here we go to make your dreams all come true. I don't think I'll have the recycling blues today. I don't have the recycling blues, I let the people choose, they got to stay, and didn't get thrown away, so don't be a fool, and just stay cool, and in these recycling blues.